it's snowing outside, the tree is up, I'm dressed all festive. It almost feels like Christmas, but something's just missing. I know. Oh my God, Peter Billingsley. I love a Christmas story. Do you want hands or? I got it, I got it. Okay. You're not choking, are you? Uh, no, I got this. I'm, I've done it before. Where, where is everybody? Well, Mac, it's very appropriate that you're here for our Christmas episode. I, I think a lot of people associate you with the holiday because Christmas is your favorite holiday. Yeah, that's, that's why. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, you may be wondering why our tree is covered with, with ghosts and ghouls and spider webs. Oh, no, that, that seems fairly normal. Is, it, is this how your tree normally looks? Oh, yeah, it's all year round. Oh, yes, okay. I, I have a, a perma tree. Mm. Good job, Rich Evans. Thank you, thank you. Oh my God, it's two guys who have been on Ellen. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Look at the, we're in the club, Mac. We're in the Ellen Club. <laughs> not, not these fucking dudes. <laughs> so why actually is it covered in skulls? Well, this year on Halloween, October 31st, we had a massive blizzard in Milwaukee. So it kind of felt like Christmas on Halloween. So this year we decided to bring Halloween to Christmas. Uh. And we're calling this a very scary Christmas. Oh, you probably had extra decorations too. That's probably probably why. Oh no, we made Rich go out and find all this stuff in December. Are we gonna watch a Are we gonna watch a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? Uh, we're gonna watch very scary Christmas movies, either Christmas horror films or just uh, winter themed horror films. Oh. Ooh, Santa Claus. <laughs> I'd like to point out that this movie is made by the co-creator of Night of the Living Dead, the horror classic. Well, spoiler alert, but um, from the co-creator of horror classic Night of the Living Dead. Oh, really? They put that right on? <laughs> yeah. I guess why wouldn't you open it with that? Yeah, why not? How else are you going to sell Santa Claus? <laughs> uh, a seasonal tale of terror, madness, and murder that will chill you to the bone. Sexy B movie scream queen Raven Quinn won't be having the happiest holidays this year. Her marriage is falling apart, and Wayne, a quiet next door neighbor, has developed a macabre uh, obsession with her. <laughs> uh, mercilessly butchering anyone who stands between him and the subject of his psychotic desire, Santa Claus. Mercilessly butchering. At, mercilessly butch. What are you, Rich Mercil Evans? <laughs> <laughs> mercilessly, mercilessly Simon Birching? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mercilessly butchering that line! <laughs> Damn you! Mercilessly butchering anyone who stands between him and the object of his psychotic desire, the red-suited maniac tracks Raven down to the set of her latest erotic horror movie, uh, leading to a shocking confrontation between Raven and this unstoppable monster that will have you shivering with fear. God, that was really hard to read. <laughs> so this is kind of like a less sexy version of The Fanatic with John Travolta. Moose is in the house! <laughs> Moosey's about. Here's Moosey. Then what did he say, Bobby? Then he told me he would do anything in the world for me. And I tried to calm him down. I said, listen, mister, I'm just like anyone else. I'm just a regular person like you. And he wouldn't hear it. He kept telling me over and over and over again how, how he would stop a bullet for me. Does that mean he'd die for you? Yeah, that's what he was trying to say. But you know, he was just drunk, honey. He didn't mean what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell your kids these stories. <laughs> what is this conversation? <laughs> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, that's my groin! Oh, oh, oh. No, from the producer, Bruce Brunswick. But no one's heard from him since he did that shoot with Laura Britton. It's like they both disappeared. It'd be great if, like, 
The tape broke? Yeah, it was. All right. Ooh, let it be good. This is a little heavier. I think it's a VHS. It's Iced. Starring uh, Rob Van Winkle. Merry Christmas. But it does star Ron Cology. Oh. Which sounds like some sort of like hey. medical terminology. Yeah, no, it, it sounds like a wing I'm of a, a hospital. I'm a ronicologist. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what, what do we got? What do we got here? Well, this isn't a Christmas movie, but it's it appears to be some sort of ski slasher. Ooh. Uh, a downhill vacation becomes a nightmare of terror. Get off the hill before you get iced. That's it? Well, this is the back of the box, too. Oh, I thought that was I wish that was I it. Know. Oh, God. <laughs> Hot-blooded couples on a cold-blooded weekend, and they're dying to ski. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's going on in this bottom picture here? It looks like she's got like an ice cream scoop. She's like scooping out his heart Scoo or something. Yeah. Corey and Jeff are hot for Trina and itching for a fight. They devise the ultimate duel, a midnight race down perilous ski slopes. Yes. But when Jeff careens off the mountain and is impaled on the rocks below, his gruesome death shatters the circle of friends. Oh. It sounds like they weren't that close to begin yeah, with. They, they were, were already bickering. Yeah, they were already bickering over for, over some lady. Mm. Years go by and the nightmare fades. Then the members of the circle are mysteriously invited back to the same resort. They're thrilled to be together. It's like old times. Reckless skiing and untamed sex. <laughs> <laughs> Untamed. Just like old times, all that untamed sex with with our tiny circle of friends yeah, oh and just yeah. pass each other around. Mm -hmm. uh, but passion turns into panic. I almost thought that said passion turns pathetic, <laughs> which is probably more <laughs> probably, accurate. Probably more apt, yes. Uh, but, but passion turns into panic when eerie reminders of the past surface and they discover someone spying on them. Stalked by a sadistic hunter with a twisted mind, only one of them will survive. Spoilers. Yeah. Into some awful sci fi flick. Yeah. Oh, it was great. <laughs> it was awful. I was a teenage much. You know what? Give these shots more depth. Put some bread right, right. in front of the lens. <laughs> That's where they hit the boom mic. <laughs> <laughs> the French bread right there. <laughs> it comes in the top of the frame. French bread. <laughs> it's all great. It makes sense on the table, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking a shower, then crashing wins dinner. <laughs> was, that, was, that, was that Super Dave Osborne? <laughs> so, uh, oh, one more present. We got one oh, more got stocking to oh, open up. Oh, goodness gracious. Thanks, Santa. I think I know what it is. It's a movie. <laughs> well, it's... I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2. Ricky is being released from a mental hospital. Uh, he takes with him the terrifying memory of his brother Billy's death and the memory of Mother Superior who brought about his brother's demise. For Ricky, starting a new life means avenging his brother's death, which sets him on a blind journey of relentless revenge leading ultimately to Mother Superior. And when he gets to her, not even her faith will be enough to stop Ricky <laughs> as he follows her in the family tradition of Christmas carnage. <laughs> Ah, garbage day. <laughs> garbage day. Uh, let's see. What, what's the time? Oh, Eighty-eight minutes. So, Eighty-eight yeah, minutes. Just right under that ninety-minute clip. Although, although half of that is recycled footage from the first movie. Yes, so. I, yes, I've heard that before. So, Which yeah. will be good for our discussion because we don't have to talk about that. All we have to talk about is the new stuff. Yeah, exactly. So the, yeah, our discussion will be five minutes long. We like. Yeah, that sounds sounds, sounds delightful. Yeah. Sounds like a treat. Garbage day should really be the title for best of the worst. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just rename the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let, let's uh, let's do it. I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah. So this is me, huh? No, this is a tape. <gasps> no, no. <laughs> Recording. <laughs> you are crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're more far gone than I thought. Jesus but Christ! Course, and don't call that. me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they couldn't even afford the actor that day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good bit. Mmm. 
That's a perfect farmhouse ale. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Best of the Worst. I'm Mike. I'm Bridge. I'm Jay. And today we watched three crazy scary movies on our very scary Christmas episode of Best of That's the Worst. That's trademarked. That's trademarked, Jay. That's right. No one, no one has ever used that expression before. No one has before. ever said have a scary Christmas. Never. Never <laughs> happened. So we watched a bunch of Christmas themed horror films on this episode and oh, hey, aren't we missing somebody? It's usually four people on the panel, right? Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Is that the fucking intern again? Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh. That's all right. Mm. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine this time. Yeah. yeah. Don't let it happen again. You, you got to mic up. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> yeah, you spilled a little. Fucking rookies. Where the fuck did this guy come from? Craigslist. Uh, yeah, I know. Embarrassing. I thought you got him from Fiverr. Mm -mm, no, I got him from Four. Oh. Discount oh. version. Yeah, it's embarrassing. I can hear you. Oh. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. I'm allergic to these films. <laughs> are, are you gentlemen ready to spin straw into gold? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I'm, this rump will still skin this shit. <laughs> I'm ready to spin some wheels. <laughs> Goodness. We're gonna talk about these. Spin uh, some tires in the snow. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. There's like five feet of snow out there. Iced? Well, I was talking about iced. Oh. When mustache guy gets his oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I, this did, uh, you know what? You, 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 your jokes are like onions. There's so many layers. Oh my god, we're already failing! <laughs> and, and, and they make me cry. Who's <laughs> <laughs> starting this shit off? I don't want to oh, talk. I don't want to talk about any of these. Well, we're gonna talk about all of them I'll, I'll because introduce. it's Christmas. Right, it's yeah. snowing and it's midnight. And uh, and we watched some scary Christmas films. We did. Well, they're more boring than scary. No, they were horrifying. <laughs> is what they were. Yeah. The scariest part was when we realized we had another movie to watch. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, we have two more left. Oh, we have one more we still have to uh, do. They're creep, creepy, boring, and weird. <laughs> well, uh, well, we'll start with creepy, and I could think of no one else other than Rich. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the weird uh, uh, sex pervert film. Why, why would you? Why would you? Do Rich, that tell us all about. I mean, it's, it's got to be one of us. Do, Santa Claus. Do you? Do you not? Do you not? Do you not abuse me enough in your day-to-day -day life? You could just call uh. me John Russo. You see this? <laughs> you see Same this with you again. Shitty cover. Yeah, nobody gets my joke. This really. I'm with you. You're with me. Okay. All right. This is a, a, a fine Christmas film <laughs> about a, a pornography studio. Uh, one of the the the, the actresses has a, 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 a creepy neighbor who's kind of obsessed with her and stalking her. He just coincidentally lives next to her. She's the, the, the most prominent B-movie actress in Akron, Ohio. <laughs> Debbie Rochon. It's uh, Yeah, played by uh, B-movie scream queen Debbie Rochon, who's been in 527 films. Call us back. <laughs> <laughs> she's usually very good. I've seen plenty of movies with her where she's good, and she's sleeping her way through this Boy, one. Boy, howdy. I guess I just got used to it more and more as time went on, you know? Just got used to the business. I enjoy being called a scream queen now. She's dead with completely vacant eyes. <laughs> I love it. How, how sedated is she? Let's see. She looks like she's ready to fall asleep. Yep. You know, I must have the weirdest resume in the whole world. Man, they sure don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> well, this is the first film else. we learned that Vicodin could act. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. It's the, it, Vicodin's really good at acting. Yeah, or, I think the, or, the, the drugs they slip those little kids to make them pass out, that's what Debbie Rashawn was yeah. taking before. Oh, I've got something in my purse. It's a Valiums. But we did, should mention that the movie is directed by John Russo, co-creator of Night of the Living Dead. Wait, the John Russo? The John the Russo. The John Russo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. You never heard about the, the guy you made that movie with, Night of the Living Dead? He made it with this guy named George Romero. You never heard Who's of him? Never heard of him. Yeah, exactly. Who's he? But you know John Russo. Because when you, when you think of Night of the Living Dead, you think of John Russo. Exactly. His two younger brothers direct <laughs> some uh, great Avengers movies. That's true, yeah. yeah. Channel 9 Showbiz News. And I'm talking with Bruce Brunswick, publisher of Girly Magazines and producer of what is commonly called T&A Videos. Whether you realize it or not, Diane, there's a huge market for the stuff we... We're 
Porn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who'd, who'd have guessed? Who would have thunk? This movie's ahead of its time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a newsworthy story, right? All right, so our, 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 our movie opens up with the, the local news station doing a report. <laughs> at the, por- the, at the on porno film. At the, uh, the porno film yeah. that's TV, being filmed TV in front of a four by five foot <laughs> blue wall. <laughs> as, as the news would report on such an event. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah it's topical. They're making a Christmas porno. Get the news crew out there. <laughs> Something's going on in New York. <laughs> Sub- it's September 11th. Something's going on in New York. We got a bigger story in, in uh, Pittsburgh. <laughs> Holly, so Holly so get down and cover this. <laughs> what about that thing that's going on in New York? Never will forget about that in a week. They're filming a porno. A soft core <laughs> porno. Is it even considered porn when it's just someone just kind of dancing in one just spot? Just writhing and dancing. It's just like go-go yeah. dancing, basically. It's, like, yeah. it's just sleaze. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things I appreciate about this movie is that they more than once explain what pornography is. That's Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, oh, just for, the, right. for the lay person. The girls have beautiful bodies and normal healthy guys enjoy looking at them. They're, they're approaching it from the perspective that the general audience has never seen a naked woman before. Yes. And, 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 <laughs> And why? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Like, why do I want to look at naked women? Oh, the movie told me. Thank God. <laughs> it's new to the general public. Yeah. This new this new form of entertainment, uh, men will really enjoy. <laughs> it's a lady taking her clothing off. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> that scene actually happens in the film. <laughs> it's, it's it's like it's the 1600s yeah. or something. This is slowly becoming a show where we watch pornography. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long-term goal. And hit read it. Five dudes in a room. <laughs> the little girl's mom, who gets uh, stabbed to death in Night of the Living Dead, is in this film as Grandma. Eastman? Okay. Yeah, Marilyn Eastman is in this film. That very pleasant grandmother. Yeah, yes. yeah, that awkward scene shot in the living room that's like like three foot by three foot <laughs> with all the dolls. There's just dolls. <laughs> There's just it's dollies. so creepy. That's like John Russo's living room. All couples argue, and there is nothing wrong between us that can't be fixed, especially if his loving mother and adoring sister would learn to butt out. Whoa! Bad news. That was an inappropriate use of a snap zoom. Yeah. Everybody's mad at Debbie Rashawn for her porno career. Her 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 husband Joey Buttafuoco he fled <laughs> town to Akron. Well, her husband's a, a, a an erotic photographer. That's how that's how they that's met. how they met. Yes. yes, and he's off on a photo shoot, with, which is with, just an excuse to fuck. Other than my wife, you're the first one since I've been married. Yeah, I'm not gonna believe that either. He's They're, our hero, by the way. This sleazy Italian man who's cheating on his wife, who, who's at home with two kids. This is our hero. He's abandoned his children to have sex with someone in Akron, Ohio. I want you back. I want to be with you. I want us to be a family again. Rich, tell us all about Wayne. Yeah, tell us about Wayne. <laughs> Well, we, we meet Wayne. What, was his shrine like accurate compared that, to like the weird ones it, you have? It looks a lot like the shrine you have for me in your house. It oh. doesn't. It doesn't have like the the, the the creepy real doll bust of me. Okay. Yet. Yeah. I made, <laughs> Yet. Yeah, yeah. You're making. I saw you're making one. I have paper mache. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, see, theirs didn't have arms or a bottom. Mine does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's the creepy thing about the doll in this movie. It doesn't have arms, but it's not like it's just a bust that doesn't have arms. It's like the arms were ripped off. They look shattered. Yeah. They're jagged edges. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's like it was a mannequin at a store or something, and he got it at a discount sale. And not to be confused with the mannequin that's in the dressing room at the porno <laughs> studio <laughs> that looks like a person we that's just standing there. We thought it was there. a person. <laughs> I, I think it might be. Oh look, she's pretending to be a dummy. <laughs> Wait, what? That's Debbie Rochon. She's gonna stab her. No. 
That wall looks too bare. We need a prop. Samantha, stand over there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Debbie Rochon. Like, like she was going to be the killer, and at some point, because it looks very realistic, but it's low quality video. Yeah, yeah. So you can't. It was shot in film. We should point yeah, out. But uh, yeah, it's a cheap. How transfer. was it though? Was it? I mean, it was. <laughs> it was shot on film. And shot shot on film. Video. Shot on filthy film. Filthy. There's hairs in the gate throughout the whole thing. That's John Russo's pubes. Hey, hey. It's fucking disgusting. Allegedly. <laughs> Alleg it's, allegedly. Yeah. There's like 40 minutes of Wayne worshiping that real doll. <laughs> over and over, yeah, over and over. Over and over and over In case again. we didn't get that he's creepy and obsessed. By the way, Wayne is creepy and obsessed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you get it yet? <sighs> he's creepy. I get it. And, and then he wants her to spend more time with him, so then, so he decides to start killing, like, the director of her movie, and everyone around the movie? Just, no, no, how? Is that, was that his motive? How does he kill we're getting his to victims? It. Oh, we're getting to it. Okay. Because he uses a, a fucking, it was like a, a, a gardening tool, a dollar store gardening yeah. tool. A, a gardening fork. <laughs> yeah. This is the titular Santa Claus. That's, that's just the thing you, you do gardening. It's, it's a yeah. gardening. Yeah, when I think Santa even... Claus, I think of like a Freddy glove kind of thing. Yeah, like, just, it's not even. It's that just sharp a gardening those tool. Those things aren't even super sharp. <laughs> oh look, they're on the plastic chair mat. <laughs> oh, this is so pathetic. <laughs> wow, yeah. wow. He may as well be using a spork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like a garden weasel is more intimidating. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That thing spins. Yeah. There's all <laughs> sorts of sharp edges on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, I love your suit. Where'd you get it? At the novelty store around the corner. Now you kill him for the suit. Traffic's good here. Find your own corner or I'll block both of your eyes, you hear me? Thank God we learn how he got his Santa suit in the best scene of the film. <laughs> that's that's the that's uh, uh, the, yeah. parallel between we, these we see yeah in Silent Night Deadly Night Two and this film we see where they got their Santa suit done much more effectively in Silent Night Deadly Night Two. In this film he goes to a costume store and he buys it and we no. watch it in excruciating detail. He goes to a Salvation Army guy on the corner. Oh, and, and he, he asks and he asks him, "Where did you get your suit?" It's perfect. I'll take it. Why didn't he just beat up that guy and steal his I suit? I know! That been fun. Yeah. What, use Damn a Santa Claus? Yeah, yeah, kill, yeah kill the guy. He's a, he's yeah. a killer. Kill. You no, know, instead they're like, let's just write in a scene where he exchanges money for it. <laughs> he tells him where he bought the he suit. Buys it. And he goes and buys it at the yeah. store. That's much more exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in a horror film. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. 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 It's like the setup there is obvious, right? Like a, like a two-year-old would know how to handle that scene, yeah. right? No, you fucking <laughs> kill the guy. <laughs> You kill Santa, you take a suit. Bada bing, bada boom. Like a two year old right in that And then he kills the man and takes the suit. That would. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Rich, are you questioning the creative decisions of the man who co created Night of the Living Dead? <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that didn't get the copyright, isn't he? The same man who gives our killer a mask that hides his identity only for him to reveal himself in the very Where first scene he appears in. Yeah, that's the other weird thing. It's it's never a mystery. Uh... Yeah. The, the, why is he wearing an all black mask? That's a, that's a mystery setup. Yeah, no, exactly, because it's like, okay, even if there's not a twist at the end, you're setting up the fact that, like, oh, like we'd be sitting there the whole time going, oh, it really could be so Wayne's so got this red herring. Wayne's a red yeah, herring. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, no, no, they, uh... No, no, that's Wayne. No, he, he's, he's creepy he, and obsessed, he's half, and it's definitely Wayne. He's halfway through his murder, he takes off his mask, <laughs> finishes the murder, and then they do that thing with his silhouette, where he's oh, putting yeah. his mask on, and it's like, oh, that's... Ooh. That's mysterious. I it's, wonder who the killer I is. I wonder who the fucking killer is. I have a crazy theory, but I think this movie was made so the director could film naked ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure, but... Well, it shows it shows the level of their creativity when it's like, yeah, the title is Santa Claus. What are Claus? Oh, here's a gardening tool. Just use that. That's kind of like Claus. And then they're like, oh, it's a B movie. We got to have boobs in it. How do we get boobs in the movie? Yeah, they're just naked ladies there. Hey, and that's go. that's as far as it mm -hmm. went. She works in a porno? Uh, they're making a porno. <laughs> they're making a porno. Yeah. <laughs> There's a guy that's obsessed with her. How does he get access to her so easily? Yeah, he just lives next door. He babysits the kids. He, he lives next door. He babysits the kids and drugs them and then leaves the kids kill people that aren't related to her at all. They just also happen to work on the porno. Ho, 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 man! Uh, don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you answer the door? <laughs> I wish there was, though. Uh, 
See, this feels like the setup for a porno. Yeah, yeah, yeah certainly. <laughs> uh, that end fight scene is the most amazing end fight scene I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, That yes. stare sequence. Yes. I'm not Wayne. I'm Santa Claus. Uh, Wayne, 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 stop. Oh. <laughs> uh, Look out, he's got a gardening tool. Uh, sort of sharp gardening yeah. tool. <laughs> the most pathetic slasher. Yeah. This really is. Jesus. That's another connection to uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. Right? People they, falling down stairs. People falling down stairs. And I think it's like the it's, exact same framing. Exactly. And also, The curious. Exorcist. <laughs> same movie. <laughs> it's just as good. It's just as good. Yeah. <laughs> Decide to start dressing like Santa Claus exactly? Because that's the, the title of the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, no reason. Because he asked the Salvation Army guy where to buy a costume. Yeah. It's it just was, a spur of the moment idea. And we watched every step of the of his purchase. Mm -hmm. Everything. You know, you know. We have to see all the details of how he becomes what he becomes. Otherwise, it's like Batman Begins. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for that scene, I would have so many questions about this film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a pile of trash. This movie sucks balls. Uh, honestly, yes. It was, Jingle balls. I mean, you were, <laughs> you were just suffering the most. It's yeah. bottom of the barrel is t in, in terms of, like, ideas. Dude, Wayne's mother used to always tell him to turn himself in. Honestly, it, it, it's, it's the bare minimum. It sucked all the air out of the room. And I mean, mm -hmm. what little air was left in the room was sucked out by ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Until we were in a total vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't even go through the. No. <laughs> he said, "I love you." Oh god. Oh, 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 this is so sad. So who wants to talk about iced? Iced. Iced, iced baby. <laughs> so okay. It's an anagram for dice. <laughs> That's fun to roll. <laughs> We're keeping that in. So ice is about a group of friends. Uh, like it starts with a young group of friends, yes. and they are on like a, a, a ski resort kind of thing at night. And I don't know. Everyone has flares. I don't know. Good guy is talking to a, a lady, and a bad guy comes in and says, I, you know, I, that's my lady. No, you back off. She's with me. <laughs> is good guy, like, good guy's the one who's like perpetually drunk through the whole movie, right? He was born without a liver. Hey, come on, maybe this time it will play by my rules. Listen, the lady doesn't want to discuss this any further right now. 250 grand price tag they got in this thing shouldn't make it too hard to resist. They have a, 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 a ski-off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this music's perfect. Who mm -hmm. will get to the bottom first? Maybe blue guy, maybe the other guy. <laughs> I guess good guy wins? Yeah. And also, then we end up going back to like the uh, the cabin and all that kind of stuff. It's a it's a party. It's a it's a raucous party with like backwards hat guy. I know that. Well, that guy. guy's got the wacky hat. He's got yeah. the wacky. You know, hat. he's the comic relief. Yeah, he's Jughead. At least it feels like you're watching a movie. <laughs> That's not a pervert's uh, fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. They try to. At least harder. it feels like you're watching a movie. <laughs> Not the best uh, director of photography here, but... Uh, no, yeah. no, but! But, but! Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> I know what you're saying. There's nobody filming a That's lady. That's all the director of photography for Santa Claus said! But! 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 but. Everybody's drunk, and I'm talking about the filmmakers. Yes. It's a crazy 80s party. Yes, yeah. It, 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 I think this was made in the 90s. 
I know, it's but really it's, sad. But it's still a crazy 80s party. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's an 80s party. Yeah. Okay. It, it, pl- plenty of blow. We break out the plenty cocaine. Plenty of booze. Yeah. That's yes. true, yeah. This is a very, I think it was made in the 90s, but it's a very 80s movie. There's yeah. so many so many scenes of, of coke in this film. I have a feeling there was some 90s sh- in the coke, too. Yeah. There was 90s <laughs> in the coke? Yes, there was. <laughs> Speaking of Coke, <laughs> do you need another bump? We get a very intense uh, uh, confrontation. Bad guy goes into good guy and girl's room, and that's where we get the famous line. Oh. Uh, Jeff! You fuckers! <laughs> <laughs> you fuckers! You fuckers! Well, no, and then he drunkenly goes into his room, and he grabs one of his... Uh, what are the poles. Yeah, ski poles. But then when he goes outside, he has both of them. That's continuity one error. One falls over. Yeah, that's, one falls over. Like, eh, just go. Just, just, well, it's fine. Then he bumps into people for no reason while walking. Yeah, down everybody's down the just hall. drunk through like, this whole whoa. film. Sorry, you just came <laughs> Plenty of room to walk in, buddy. <laughs> The important part about storming into the room is is the lady, the love triangle. Yeah. He said, "You came with me, you know. Why are you with him?" And she's like, "I'm not with anybody. I'm I don't like fun. you. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then so she he, came with him. Yes. Oh well, she did. Yeah. They had some some sexual intercourse. Yeah. Honestly, that sex scene yeah. is yeah. probably the most graphic one of yeah. everything that we saw. Like, I mean, just there's some. There's some man butts in this. There's some man butts. Honestly, you see you see a dong or two, but not like a full <laughs> dong. <laughs> You, you see a helmet or two. Is what it's like. You see like a third of a ball. But remember you, you'd almost mistake this for a David Dakota movie. I know. <laughs> well, they're, they're, the director had a, fan, uh, a fancy for male butts. I guess. Because, remember the guy who's the coke addict who looks like uh, J- Jude Law? He, oh. he, for no reason, has a shower and he's nude. And yeah. he's, he's doing coke. He's doing coke in the bathroom completely naked. Mm-hmm. With the, in the butt, but it turns out to be uh, a, a dream. dream. A nightmare, dream slash. What is, there's a number of weird, we don't know if they're psychic visions yeah. of yes. the future. Yeah. Or what, was it half a dream or half not? Like, was he doing coke in the bathroom and then, like, you know, went to sleep and then he dreamt about him, his dead body in the bed, which doesn't pay off later. But it's, it's like he's fantasizing about making out with the woman in the tub while he's making out with her on the bed. Yeah. And it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'd rather be doing this in the tub. Yeah. <laughs> they were making out in the bed. They were making out in the middle of the room by the fireplace, which yeah. we find Everyone's out later. Everyone's just standing around watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's it's because everybody's drunk. Nobody cares. Yep. Oh. 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 It did say I paled on a rock. Yeah. Well, so the back of the rock. He's like, ow! Fuck! Oh, my balls! <laughs> my sternum! <sighs> so, so the bad guy decides to drunkenly ski. Yes. Goes down the mountain, all that stuff, and then boom, four years later. All of the friends from the beginning of the movie, they're invited four years later. One of them gets run over by a truck. Immediately. No, no, no. Bulldozer. A bulldozer! Within like a, like a couple of minutes. He slipped? Yep. He slipped, yeah. You know, he comes from he, the, and he can't get up. Yeah. Yeah. He comes from the Prometheus school of running away from things. Yeah, yeah. Right. just keep running forward. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh no. they what? hit him? Yeah, I, I guess, guess so. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And boom, he disintegrates. And there's Mustache Man, he's and gone. Honestly, when I say he disintegrates, it, I, I make it sound a lot more interesting than it really is. He gets run over so hard, he turns into his own pants. pants. He just turns into <laughs> pants. He turns into pants and ketchup, pretty much. <laughs> the pants were the only thing to survive. He just had a bunch of ketchup packets in his pants. He's actually alive. He just, he just ran away. He he's took the only his one pants who made off. it. Like well, the then girl. he froze to death, though. Yeah. Like, yeah this is unrelated. Yeah. It's a cut scene. He's, he, he, he's the killer in Ice 2. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Reckoning. Resurrection? Is it Ice T O O? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He wants revenge against the real estate agent's family because his nuts got frostbitten off as he had to run away without his pants. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my balls! <laughs> he lost his valuable collection of ketchup packets. <laughs> But most importantly, I lost my ketchup. He had one from every fast food chain. <laughs> kept him up, kept him in his cargo pants. Some of those dated back to the 1950s. Yeah, here's the very first McDonald's ketchup packet, mm-hmm. and it's worth. Roy Kroc gave it to him yeah. himself. Yeah, 
And it got splattered on that snowy ground that one fateful day. <laughs> We're fucking desperate. We're fucking desperate for comedy. And those pants weren't cheap. <laughs> None of the characters were identifiable, except yeah. we were like, oh, mustache guy. Yeah. First guy they killed. First, he's gone, he's and then gone everybody like just looks minutes. the same. And yeah. like, oh, now I don't know who any of these fucking people are. The one, the, the, the girl, though, the one that the one guy fantasizes about having sex with the, in the oh, hot tub. The hair? She has the big hair, the and hair. she has yeah, the yeah. fingernails. Her fingernails are so long, like, it's scarier than the claws, the claws. in Santa Claus. Yeah, no, she was, she was Santa Claus. Yeah. But she's waiting for her boyfriend to come, who's the real estate guy? No, no. I think her no, boyfriend think was her... mustache guy. Oh, okay. But either way, she was waiting for her boyfriend to come, and I guess she she got tired of waiting and just made out with yes. the other guy. Yes, mm-hmm. she starts w- made, made out with real estate. Guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Coke fiend gave her shit about cheating on mustache man with real estate guy before he decided to try and rape her. Child. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. That's which, like, oh, which oh, caused her to casually take a bath. <laughs> no, she got in the hot tub. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Oh, oh wait, oh my God, what's a vampire? What? Is he a vampire? What's happening? Oh. oh. What? what? Oh, what was that? <laughs> okay. It was a mistake in editing. He tries to rape her, and then they cut away like to like something for like two seconds, and then oh. and she's like, Ooh, and then he's just sitting tub. on he's just sitting on his lazy boy like this, and she's just in That's, the hot tub. Uh, it's like okay, so we're not gonna we're gonna address this at all. Yeah. It's like no, and then everybody dies in the last right? ten minutes. <laughs> Well, should we just talk about the deaths? Yeah. Does it matter? We, we, we can talk about the deaths. Like, uh, um, well, the the there's the uh, hot tub death. Hot tub death. Uh, electrocution. Pro- probably the the highlight is the the bear trap. Oh, oh no! You stepped in both of them. I was hoping when he fell, a third one would clamp on his head. <laughs> or a rake would come yeah. <laughs> No, How did he get no. all that? Wait. No. Wait, what? What? You step in a bear trap, you bleed out of your coat. <laughs> <laughs> your coat starts bleeding, don't you know that? The only explanation is the force of the bear trap squeezed the blood yeah. up through his body like a, like out a, his chest. Like a tube of toothpaste. What? Oh, gross. Is, this is very important Disgusting. to the plot, I'm sure. Is it a tiny bear trap in that? <laughs> <laughs> it's filled with razors. Oh! Somebody set that out for him? Did it poison him? Oh, oh. no. Nope, just nope. stab just him stab in the him. shoulder. Oh, that was exciting. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have eaten that pie. <laughs> they literally lured him there with a delicious slice of pie. <laughs> 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 Ooh, this looks good. And uh, um, is there is there a twist? No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, we we speculated it was the blonde-haired lady, which would the, have been good. That would yeah. have been a twist. She's the center of the love triangle. She felt bad that the crazy guy was like jealous, yeah. and he he was so jealous he went angry, drunk, skiing, <laughs> and died as the result of it. So and she, she felt bad. Yeah, she felt bad. And then uh, she went crazy, and then... The, and well, we then see multiple scenes of her, like, lifting weights, yes, and the, yes, doing, like, some, push-ups. There's several red herring And situations. so it was like, oh, yeah. she's, yeah, has strength to kill all these people. Yeah. Then they have the one girl cutting uh, carrots with her knife, and she's, like, cutting it Well, that is the most fucked up thing in the thumb. whole movie, yeah. the way she cuts those carrots. I'm sorry, I'm spoiling. She cuts carrots <laughs> like that. that. She's literally cutting into her hand. Why don't you guys go to the cutting board? Right, right in there. front yeah. of her. The cutting board is where you put the stuff that's been cut on. Oh, oh is that how it works? Yeah, that's Look, why it's called that. She's, it's, it's for the cuttings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why would she make that choice to do that? Yeah. Is she an idiot? Could she be that stupid? Or did somebody think it just looked better for her to use her hands? Yeah, I think, I think well, as it turns out, she's also the editor for the film. This is how she cut the film. (laughs) How did he die, the killer? I forgot how the killer dies. (laughs) Well, he doesn't. Real estate guy happened to be there on the night when guy who wore all blue. He was the brother, I think. He was, the, yes. I could have been a world-class skier, a world-class businessman, and you took it away from me! One guy went angry, drunk skiing, and fell and hit a rock and died. Yes. This real estate guy went to try to help him, 
and fell down and injured himself so badly he had to get his leg amputated, <laughs> yes. which caused him to not be a world champion skier or world class businessman. And that's and that's the woman's <laughs> fault. And that's the lady's fault. That that's why bitch he's sick women. Around. So her friends had to die. Yeah. So Everybody had to die. Random people had to die. This the real estate guy who's been running a real estate business just fine. Yeah. Decided four years later, not five, not three, <laughs> not seven, not two, not 12, but four was the year that he was going to seek his revenge. Yeah. Yeah. Because his peg leg or his fake leg, he was mad. Yeah. And that was the year. And also that was undoing at the end. <laughs> Double. <laughs> Oh, oh, the legs, the legs, oh, legs gonna, gonna come off. Gonna come off. Oh, yeah. Yeah! yeah. yeah. No. Oh, that looked pretty comfortable. <laughs> 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 he fell six inches. Oh, he died. Oh, killed him. He oh, fell sorry. into a cozy pile of snow! <laughs> she didn't do any cocaine. She had just had no in ill intent. She was just there to have fun. Yeah. What a all fucking these, nightmare. All these fucking guys are crazy with their fake legs. You know, and their <laughs> cocaine yeah. and their hallucinations. <laughs> well, these poor women just want to have fun on a ski trip. <laughs> Ridiculous. When she ran outside without pants, mm -hmm. she should have found Mustache Guy's pants. Oh, hey! <laughs> that would have been perfect. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Those ketchupy pants. <laughs> Ooh, this is a 1952 McDonald's. <laughs> That's worth something. Oh, and also, uh, we, we got to cut five years forward. After oh, that, right. we're in the span of five years. She she gave birth to eight year olds, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah. So they're building a snowman, and as soon as we saw, there, there's something in it. It's a very large. It's snowman. a large snowman. Yeah. The way it's sloped. It's a strangely large snowman. Almost as if a dude was gonna pop out of it, and stab her in the face. But that wouldn't make any sense. Nope, it sure wouldn't. They didn't even do it effectively, though. Like you think, of, like you mentioned, Carrie, the hand, and it's like there's that musical sting, or yeah. like Friday the Thirteenth. Jason jumps out. There's a musical sting, but here it was like so. No, he, he just kind of goes a yeah. dunabushi suit, just like yeah. and then they just freeze frame, and also it's bad quality, and then they zoom in on a yeah. still frame, so it just it's pixelated to begin with. That was their art. <laughs> <laughs> Don't it's you put down their art. <laughs> <laughs> also, they have two children and they bring them back to the ski resort same, of same ski resort multiple murders and uh, friends or, or, or if you want to explain that away, they went to a different ski resort and I guess the killer just found them there? I guess and so, And hid That's in possible. a snowman? Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming they built that snowman. How did he get in there? <laughs> Oh, Maybe the snowman was built before they showed up and they got there. How like, long was he fucking waiting in that like, thing? Like four months. <laughs> and then yeah. they show up and they're like, that's an awfully big snowman. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, play let's right finish it. You know, I'm, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go with this whole movie was just a dream. Uh, oh, I was leaving the I, discussion. I was, yes, we were uh, waiting on you, yeah. Uh, everybody did one but Jay. Because, uh, Jay, you know a lot about uh, Garbage Day, as well as uh, <laughs> Silent Night, Deadly Night, Parts 1 and 2. Silent, and yeah, yeah. Part 2 is basically Part 1, recapping recapping Part 1. We so, spoiled it. You're doing my job for so me. It's all about oh. Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2. Well, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2 picks up after the events of Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 1. And if you haven't seen that film, don't, don't worry. worry. Yeah, don't worry about it. Because the first... <laughs> We timed it. We looked at the, the counter. The first 40 minutes it's, are a recap of Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 1. It's almost literally the first half of the movie. Yes, almost exactly. The, the killer in the first movie is Billy. Uh, Ricky is his younger brother, who was in the first film. Uh, but now he's the, the main baby. character. Yeah. We've had more actors playing the same character than the Terminator franchise. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. John Connor ain't got nothing on Ricky. On Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Who, Ricky, who did it? Santa Claus. There's there's baby Ricky. Yes. Who remembers everything that happens to his parents when he was a baby. Ricky yeah. remembers everything that, that, that 
Billy does. I don't know what made him stop. What's that? Hmm? Actually, I do know what made him stop. Yeah, that, that's the thing. It's the first 40 minutes are flashbacks to pad out the movie. And it's, yeah, it's, it's some of it is flashbacks to things that neither Ricky nor Billy were present for. Yes. But he's, he's recalling they're, these events. They're extrapolating some of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, sure. it, could, it could just be from Ricky's point of view. So. Well, we, well, we do see later in the movie, he goes to the movie theater and watches the first film. That's a trip. What did you say this movie was about? Oh, it's great. It's about this guy who dresses up like Santa Claus and kills people. What? Maybe. Right? Oh. oh. The, 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 the first film was, it wasn't reality. It was the TV movie of the week recreation. Oh. So the movie no. we're watching is a movie within this movie. And we never saw the real event. Yes. yes. And, okay. and that goes okay. into the unreliable narrator kind of like thing. Because like everything he he's he remembering Ricky is wasn't real. there for it. But he did watch the movie adaptation of his life. There you go. Okay. Yes. So he's unreliable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So again, what he's telling the therapist is not necessarily what's true. It's yeah. kind of what he It's what he saw in the or, film. Or what he's spinning yeah. or yeah. what he saw in the film. Yeah. We, we've solved it. All right. We've cracked the case. Right. That's pretty cool. brilliant. Great episode, guys. Yeah. <laughs> So there are 15 Rickies, <laughs> <laughs> and and two of them are adults. There's two kid Rickies because there's the original kid Ricky from Silent oh, Night, Deadly Night One. Baby. Yeah. Well, there's the baby, yeah. and then there's uh, there's baby. There's I'm calling him kid. Sure. Yeah. The first kid when they're at the home with the nuns. Yes. Naughty. And then there's kid with the uh, uh, adopted parents. The the yes. Teenager. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The kid with the adopted parents that's terrified of the nuns. Yes. That, is it, sweetheart? I don't know what is wrong with well, that's okay. So anyway, you know. <laughs> the movie is the result of because the original movie came out and it was controversial and uh thanks to mothers in milwaukee it got pulled from theaters mm. Oh, yeah, really? I actually vaguely, very vaguely remember this. Yeah, really. Yeah, everyone was upset about the advertising because he had the uh, chimney. Mim pulled this. Mim. Mothers in Mothers Milwaukee. in Milwaukee. <laughs> That's the name of the organization. The secret of Mim. Yeah, <laughs> but no, all the advertising for it was the the Santa arm coming out of a chimney with a yeah hatchet. with a with a hatchet. I remember seeing that in the paper, like yeah. when the movie yeah, came yeah. out. Yeah. And so mothers were like, one, this is terrifying our children, and two, this is uh, ruining the sanctity of Christmas. So there was lots of protests, and the movie got pulled from theaters after like a week or two. Huh. Well, did so Mickey Rooney have anything to do with it? Mickey that? Rooney did. He was very <laughs> vocal about this film and his hatred for this movie. And then he ended Mickey up starring Rooney? in Silent Night, Deadly Night 5 because he needed cash. <laughs> <laughs> you people have nothing to be proud of, even if you made a few bucks off of all the negative publicity. Your profits truly are blood money. But, so the idea was, the, the studio was like, okay, our movie got pulled immediately. We want to make some more money off this. Let's re-release it. We'll re-edit it and re-release it. Um, but uh, let's add a framing device to it. Oh, so the sequel is that. So the sequel, the original idea was, yeah, a little bit at the beginning, a little bit at the end, and then the rest of the movie would be a flashback, is a recut version of the first movie. But then they shot a little too much footage, um, and so then, yeah, the, the second half of this movie is the new footage. That makes some sense. Well, that, that's an interesting uh, uh, bit of a history, Jay, because I just assumed that this was a cheapskate remake where they just said well I'll take footage from the first one fat yeah. crazy ethel 2 yes oh we'll, we'll yeah cobble yeah. together something we don't have to shoot much shades of gray yeah. season two of it's you, know, you can TNG, kind of say right? it's an example of them being overly ambitious if the idea was just to have you know a, a, an opener and an ender and then the first movie in between they shot so much that half of this movie is a new movie. Yeah. Jay thinks 50% of a movie is okay. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the case of this movie, yes, I do. Because <laughs> once we get to the new stuff, it's, it's, it's magic. What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> the killer Santa Claus. Oh, it's raining. What's his name? It's uh, Eric Freeman. Eric Freeman. Fucking masterful. 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 Yeah. 
enthralling. He is so intense and he is so committed. Yes, he's 100% behind what he is doing. Yeah. Which is appropriate because he's playing somebody who is committed. But then, we, so we get through the flashbacks to the first movie, and then we go into more new flashbacks. Yeah, that was weird. Yes. Where he's a teenager. He comes across this this elderly couple that's <laughs> not in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> and there, there were actually 22 in the film, but you know, it's the yeah. 80s and. Yeah. yeah. And the elderly man was, was, was getting really abusive with the woman. Which gives him flashbacks to when he was a baby and he remembered and that, that his mother was. And this guy is talking like a shit kicking cowboy. I do want it. But I'm twice your age. <laughs> your mom's my best friend. <laughs> I'm your aunt. <laughs> Naughty. Ricky steals his Jeep, which is red, and that's, oh, yeah. that's important, that's I his, guess. That's his triggering it, color. It, it's so important, yeah. it has an exclamation point at the end of it. Just because it's a horror movie, you expect for her to the freak out, go ah, and be mowed down herself. But instead, thank you. <laughs> she seems okay with it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it tied into a bigger overall theme with the film because this guy, there's, it's a beautiful day. They're having a lovely picnic. And then this guy just gets super rapey and he rips her shirt open. Mm -hmm. He's like, ah, and then, yeah. And then we tie into the plot of the abusive nun. Yeah, a mother superior mm -hmm. who says, you know, yeah, I gotta beat you, and yeah. and so You're being naughty, we naughty. Don't, yeah, yeah. We don't really have a clear villain because he's killing like bad people, mm -hmm. and he's himself. at first. It's like Dexter. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. a little bit like Dexter, <laughs> and so we don't know at the end. It's it's him versus Mother Superior. He comes to kill her at the nunnery, mm -hmm. but yeah, Mother Superior is played by a different actress, so they. Make half of so her they, face. They give so her, her face melted. melted. They, they give her face cancer. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Robocop. There were just some toxic waste. Yeah. Yes, yes. And it's never commented on. <laughs> well, the movie at this point, once we get past the first movie, it, it is just kind of scene after scene of Ricky encountering an asshole and yeah, killing them. So we don't know who our villain is. He's not like a typical movie villain where he's so crazy. I'm going to yeah. kill the Well, the first movie and, is, yeah, he just kills yeah. people that he thinks are being naughty, even yes. if they're not. I guess that, Linnea yeah. Quigley is just fooling around with her boyfriend. One of my favorite parts, you were talking about it uh, when we were watching the movie, was when he gets a hold of the cop's gun, or his rampage, well, essentially. That's, oh, oh, that's the centerpiece of the film. So we start with him exploding this guy with uh, a Chip. With, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, what did Chip do now? He was kind of a jerk. He's a jerk. And this is this is uh, Ricky's motivation to, to blow his eyeballs out That's with, fine. with That's fine. <laughs> with his car battery. Just, just, Ricky is fucking psychotic. Yeah, well, this yeah. is fine. Yeah. Punish. Uh-oh. 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 Because that's when he loses it. At, the, at that point, he's no longer like the good guy who only kills bad people. He just starts murdering oh, yeah. fucking a, everyone. He kills Chip, he kills his girlfriend, the and cop, he, Bernie Fife shows it up. It is so much fun. Yeah. You stand right there. Right there. <laughs> Your hat's crooked. <laughs> oh, come on, Barney Fife. I've been seriously. drinking. Uh, why is his hat crooked? Okay. <laughs> You can't stop him, Ron Howard. Oh, they fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's why his hat's crooked. So yeah. he could do the, the thing on his forehead, and you would see it. Uh, they had to have it tilted up. No, I have a gun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Oh, my God. And he gets shut down. Wasn't he taking out the trash? He was holding up a trash That was can. a different guy. Oh no, no, God. no that's the next guy. That's the famous scene. Yeah. Garbage day. No. <laughs> 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 
just wanted to make sure we all caught that. It's a really bad day in Sherman Oaks. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, it's, right. Yes, it's, it's garbage day. It's, it's that famous. That's garbage day. It's garbage yeah. it's, day. It's right here. Yeah. This was like like a, a meme before memes were a thing. Mm -hmm. The whole garbage day thing is if if anybody knows this movie, it's for garbage day. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, the music swells. It's all of a sudden like really epic as he's yeah. walking around this little suburban neighborhood just music, laughing yeah. and, and shooting somehow at they kind of turn him into a hero or at least someone you're rooting for. It's it's like falling down. You're rooting for Kirk Douglas and falling exactly. down. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Or Michael Douglas, not Kirk. <laughs> some, some kind of Douglas. Kirk Douglas oh, will be one of the Douglases. Kirk Douglas is still alive. Douglas. He'll be in the remake. <laughs> They're gonna do a remake of this movie with Kirk. It's just him falling down the stairs. Oh god. That's why it's called ah! falling down. <laughs> <laughs> Kirk Douglas and falling down. Ah! <laughs> falling down the stairs. <laughs> That'll be the subtitle, falling down to the stairs. The stairs. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Kirk Douglas, by the way, we have to point out. Is still alive. Oh, okay. I was about to say that. I'm pretty sure he's still alive. <laughs> Bingo! 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 Whoa, that Whoa. Stuck out to him. Wow, that's yeah, a terrifying that stunt. Was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, uh, that tracks. The seats are filled with gasoline. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, that's the part that explodes on us. Yep. The seats. Yep. <laughs> we have the most depth-defying stunts ever committed to film. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. I mean, that looks like an accident. Like, it looks like it Absolutely. wasn't supposed to get that close to It's a to stunt him. and an accident at yeah. the same time. Yeah. Look at me at I mean, the whole movie is an accident, but that particular <laughs> moment. Like the Road Warrior. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When the guy goes flying. Spinning. Yeah. He's very casual, though. Like, they were able to use it in the movie because he just kind of, like, oop. Yep. And no, it, he didn't it, run away. Someone almost gets killed in this. Yeah. And not from Garbage Day. Not, yeah. No, not, not from, from Ricky's Rampage. No, uh, yeah. It, 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 and so, no. It's like another so, stunt gone wrong in the John Landis film, The Blues Brothers, <laughs> where, where the car, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> What, what is so funny? You know, the, there's a lot of stunts in the Blues Brothers. It's just there's the a lot of car stunts. It's, yeah. it's just it's your tone. It's the way you say things. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. I, I just I just don't see what's so funny. <laughs> so there's a lot of stunts in the Blues Brothers. They, they looked pretty dangerous. Mike, he thought you were talking about that stunt from the Blues Brothers 2000. Oh, right. Yes. I get uh, the confusion. Yeah. Don't do it. And this is, we're still in flashback. This is how we learn how we got into the, uh, oh, yeah. the prison that That's he's right. been in since the beginning of the film. 90% of this movie is flashbacks. Yeah. It's only about half of that, or more than half of that. Yeah, there's flashbacks from the within flashbacks, and it's he all over. He escapes the prison by choking the FBI or the psych. Psychologist, Psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever tape. it is, yeah. And then he leaves and we hear off camera, oh, he's yeah. escaping the prison, and then what happens after that? But I also, I just, also, I love, like, it, it's so, so cheap, because they're kind of like, he's escaping the prison. We've got a problem, sister. He walked out of here six hours ago. It's Christmas Eve. Oh. Oh, there's such a big corpse there. <laughs> They're just interviewing someone in front of the corpse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, as, as we realized while watching the movie, it feels like they shot this like in like five or six days, which is where we get the scene similar to Santa Claus, where he gets the Santa Claus costume. Mm -hmm. uh, compared that to Santa Claus, where it's like we watch him go in and buy the thing. And I love how this, you know, Santa Claus made this look like cinema. Yeah. I'd like to give a little something to Santa. Uh, uh, oh, uh, well, here they actually take it from a yeah, guy. Exactly. Right? No, no, we should have to see him go to the thrift shop yeah. around the corner. Where did you buy, buy that Santa suit? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Bought it at the mountain store. Excuse me, you store. rude man. 
Look, they didn't even have to film a scene. Yeah, nope. It was all go. off camera. Yep. It was yep. all audio. Yeah. Yep. They told it visually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, they figured out a way to do it creatively. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah, we don't have to hire an actor. We don't have to try and film a fight scene. Yep. Mm-hmm. Silent Night, Deadly Night 2 is bad, but it does feel like we did the best we could with the three days we had to <laughs> film no, the movie. Cinema. You're going to get a Santa Claus costume and you establish a Santa Claus guy who works for the Red Cross. But see, they don't you even steal show his it. costume. They don't even show don't it, but it works to. better than this. Yeah. 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 It's like 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 Arnold and uh, Terminator 1 or 2. Give me your clothes. Your clothes. He do, he Tell me what thrift store you yes, bought yes, them at. Yes. Yeah. Tell me where you got your punk I will go to rock. the thrift store yeah. and I will buy those clothes. <laughs> Bill Paxton, tell me where you Can got Can I your... borrow five dollars? Yes. <laughs> I need money. Which thrift store did you get the similar <laughs> jacket at and sunglasses? <laughs> it's like that. Yes. yes. We don't nah. need that. Movie, don't... movie language. Yeah. Stealing. <laughs> Murdering and stealing. Got it. Got it. One shot. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> I, think he's, I, I think he's been too close. <laughs> he's lifting people up with one arm earlier now. A frail man poking the door in the wheelchairs. Overpowering him. <laughs> oh, good. I love a chase. So then we get what we've always wanted to see, Santa Claus versus a woman in a wheelchair. <laughs> a hundred year old woman. Who did surprisingly well. She did great. She, she did, did better amazing. than anyone else in the movie. She needed to use the power of Jesus with, <laughs> with like electrical bolts and like yeah. magic. That would have been great. Cause yeah. she had supernatural powers as a nun. <laughs> like. <laughs> and he's like. <laughs> He's deflecting the electrical ball. He's like, garbage day! <laughs> he has a garbage can lid. Yeah. Blocking the, the, the Christ bolt. <laughs> so she has powers yeah. as a nun, other than just being crippled and deformed. <laughs> she, can do, she can do something. Oh my god! Wait, how'd she get her wheelchair back? Uh, she has another one downstairs? <laughs> Why does she live upstairs? I wanted to see her hit like a button this, for the, the secret wheelchair to pop up. Her Comes emer- up from the, her emergency yeah. wheelchair. Yeah, she's sure. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Since it was the future, she needed like a hover chair. <laughs> she starts like, flying around him. It had like missile launching <laughs> capabilities on it. <laughs> They have a cru- crucifix missiles. <laughs> it's got like a ruler that waves around. <laughs> it's got like a... <laughs> That's a reference to the John Landis film. <laughs> the Blues Brothers. Yeah. That's a good movie. Yeah, that's a good movie. That's yeah. a good movie. Yeah. Too bad about that tragedy. Yeah. You are being very, very naughty. Naughty this. <laughs> yeah. Oh sure, why not? Yeah, no, exactly. Naughty, it's the first thing that came to his mind. Naughty this. Naughty this. Naughty this. Right. He's been dreaming about this night for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he had. Oh, yeah. Naughty this. <laughs> uh, so what's the best and the worst? <laughs> well, yes. As as the the person in charge tonight, we watched three extremely terrible films. Um, but we must pick a best of the worst. Jay. Oh, no contest. It's Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 2. Legitimately entertaining. Um, I mean, you do have to sit through half of the original film, but all the new stuff is great. We didn't even mention the Umbrella Kill. Rich? I'm going to echo Jay's sentiments. It, it, it is a master class performance. <laughs> Uh, of, of an angry guy? Of, of, of a crazy man. It's interesting. Interesting. I, I just need to quickly uh, quickly look at the name of this one. Okay. Uh, I, wonder, uh, Mac, I wonder why. Mac, uh, what is your pick for best of the worst? <laughs> this, this. By far. By far. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Like, it, it's, it's, it's fantastic. Eric Freeman 
is fantastic and it's, uh, you don't have to see the first one. Um, but no, let's, uh, I'm gonna go with that. Go ahead. Yeah. I know, I, I think I know what you're gonna I know. pick. I know, my pick for best and worst is, is Santa Claus. <laughs> Your antics have become predictable. Right, well, no, I'm not being a contrarian. What's, you what's, are. What's your reason? Yeah. My reason is I've seen uh, book Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1. But you hadn't seen Silent Night, Deadly yeah, Night Part but, 2. Yeah, but it, it was a, most of the movie was Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1, and Guy <laughs> talking to Guy interviewing him in a uh, asylum room or a hospital room or whatever. Boring. Until, until it wasn't that anymore. Boring. <laughs> Uh, he's <laughs> just one. A dick. <laughs> I've never seen a movie quite like that before. You know, you know, you're right, Mike. I've never seen a movie quite like that before. I'm gonna change my vote. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going with Santa Claus. All right. You know what? I've never seen a movie like Ice before. It was bored out of my mind. So that's my pick for best of the worst. <laughs> Honestly, the ending of Ice kind of really tickled my my pink. Yeah. And so yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm switching to ice uh, okay, also. Okay, so we have two ice. <laughs> no, one ice. Two, two ice. Two ice. Uh, two ice. My yeah. pick is ice because I've never seen a movie like right. it you know, you know what? I decided I really like breasts. <laughs> I really like breasts. <laughs> like, well, you, you so like, I have to go with Santa Claus. And how do you know when you like breasts? <laughs> you like disgusting. Was it explained to you yeah, in the movie? They explained to me in the movie why oh, I like breasts. It's educational. You didn't know what pornography <laughs> was before this. You <laughs> learned something. I learned, yes. You know, Rich? You make a very good point. I changed my vote. Santa Claus. All right. <laughs> well, fuck, I'm a man on the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Santa, yeah. Okay. Santa Claus is the, the best. The fucking worst thing we watched tonight is now best of the worst. Santa Claus is best And not the, the most entertaining one with a great lead performance and many, many, many funny scenes. And the mo and the. And you know what? I'm going to vote to destroy. <laughs> Silent I did tonight, too. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, I, reused that other movie. <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't be rewarded for That's so for cheap. That. <laughs> and it's on Blue. Blu-ray too. What yeah. a, what a terrible format <laughs> compared to VHS and DVD. This uh, is the cheapest movie we saw. Yeah. So I think we're all in agreement. We're gonna destroy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst Christmas ever. <laughs> <laughs>